Welcome everyone to our Inspiring Healthy Living series. My name is Julie Herbst. I live in Florida with my husband and two children, and I'm so glad you're taking a few moments tonight to learn how we share Juice Plus and our virtual franchise with others. If you're joining us, or if you actually joined us last week on the same Zoom event, then you learned about the Juice Plus company and our mission statement of inspiring healthy living around the world. We are mission-driven as a company, and what does that mean to be mission-driven? Well, it means that we're focusing on great outcomes for individuals and families as it relates to their health and their finances. And this happened with our family 16 years ago when my sister shared Juice Plus with us. I spent 23 years in the fitness industry, and I really thought I was healthy. But when we added Juice Plus to our diet, I quickly learned that I was not healthy, and I really began to experience good health, and so did my husband. We had such a phenomenal Juice Plus experience. I couldn't help but start to share it with other people, and that's really where our journey began. Little did I realize what an impact this was going to have on our family's financial future. So I'm so glad you're listening tonight, and you know, this is the picture of our business. You know, people get started with Juice Plus usually, and they just you know, really fall in love with the experience of Juice Plus and they decide to join the mission of this wonderful company. And so joining the mission is where this all begins. Then we live the mission. We find other people who want to do the same thing and we build a team. We create a team of people who really want to carry out this mission. And that really is the picture of our business. Now, what is the path of the business? It's really three simple steps. We build a customer base. We go out there and we share Juice Plus and the Tower Garden with people. We continue to build that customer base until it becomes what we call a qualified business. That really means that you're starting to get a solid customer base, somewhere between 25 and 40 customers. And then you're going to have people who are drawn to this mission, and when they get started as a new team member, you're just gonna turn around and do those very same things with them. So that really is a great visual of the path in our business. Now, what's the process? How do we actually do it day to day? That's our mission-driven model. And what we're going to do is really take you through this tonight. And this mission-driven model is how we do our business every single day. We live the mission of inspiring healthy living around the world. We share our journey about Juice Plus. We inspire one simple change, which is to help people get started on Juice Plus. That's the first one simple change. Then when they become a customer, we get to know them, engage with them, and help them have a phenomenal experience so that they become a raving fan customer. And one of two things is going to happen if they're a raving fan customer. They're either going to remain a lifelong customer or they're going to join our mission. So let's dive into this and talk about it. Now, this mission-driven model can be divided into three phases. The first section is prospect sharing with people who are not yet customers. And then the second part of it is our customer care. And that really does define us as a company. And then the last part is inviting people to join our mission. So living the mission, that's where it all begins, our mission-driven model. What does that actually mean? It means we're inspiring ourselves to live healthier. So we're on this journey of health. We don't have to be perfect, but we just have to be getting a little bit healthier every day, every month, every year. And so living the mission, and then in us doing it ourselves, we're gonna inspire other people to live the mission as well. And how are we doing this as a company? Here are a few examples of the way that we're living the mission every single day within our business right now. We're hosting these really fun Mason salad jar parties. I mean, this is just so much fun because we're inspiring people to eat more fruits and vegetables, which is really what we're all about. Our company is donating free tower gardens to all the boys and girls clubs in our country. I love that they're doing that. And we can be involved as representatives in the field helping our community get healthier. We're hosting free yoga on the beach. I live in Florida. And you know, every day we are just loving our Juice Plus products. We're making salads with our tower garden. We're drinking our shake. People are seeing us enjoy Juice Plus. And you know, living the mission is just gonna happen every day as you're living life. That's really how we do our business. Our business is based on building relationships with other people and sharing from our hearts. And so you're gonna live the mission in your conversations throughout the day, wherever your day has you. And we're also gonna do this when we post on social media, you know, and people are watching us, we're going to inspire healthy living. 
And in the process of inspiring healthy living every day, living that mission, we will have the opportunity to share our Juice Plus journey, our story at some point. And as we're sharing about Juice Plus, we're gonna do it in a very subtle way. We're going to create curiosity or stoke curiosity. So we're not gonna just be out there talking about Juice Plus all day long. We're going to create so much curiosity that people are gonna be intrigued by us and they're gonna to wanna to almost ask us, you know, what are you doing? What is it that you do? What, what, why are you always talking about fruits and vegetables? So we wanna create curiosity and get them to ask us what we're doing. And we're gonna do this in three different ways. We're gonna share our story, one-liners, and we're gonna post on social media. So let's walk through this for a moment. This is my story. When my husband and I were in our 30s, we thought we were healthy, but we were tired, not sleeping well, and sick a lot. We thought that was normal. Then Joel became a high school principal and he gained 100 pounds in his first year. I was so concerned about his health. My sister shared a simple way that we could flood our bodies with fruits and vegetables. And that one simple change made such a difference in our health. It became a catalyst for more changes. And look at Joel today. Feeling incredible is our new normal. Our kids have grown up with this nutrition. My sister gave us such a simple gift of health and we are really grateful. Did you notice I didn't even mention Juice Plus? We're the tower bird in that story. <laughs> and, uh, but I did mention flooding my bodies with flooding our bodies with fruits and vegetables. And that's where people can say, what do you mean by that, Julie? What, what did she tell you about? Or how come you're, you used to be sick all the time and you're not now? So we're stoking curiosity. Now, sometimes you're gonna mention Juice Plus in your story and you're gonna actually say the words Juice Plus. You know, maybe you've already talked to them before. So the story doesn't always have to stoke curiosity, but if you're in a setting where it can, that's great. How about you're out and about in life and somebody says, Julie, how are you doing today? Oh my goodness, I have more energy than I've had in years. Julie, what are you eating? Oh my goodness, I'm eating a salad. Can you believe I grew this myself? <laughs> Something like that. When we share these one-liners, people will say, how did you grow that salad yourself? And why do you have so much energy? So we're getting them to ask us. Same thing on social media. You know, we really want to inspire healthy living on social media. We want to be like a lighthouse where people continuously come back to us and they're watching us and they're wondering until we get to a point where either they ask us or we reach out to them and they're ready. So be a lighthouse, create curiosity. Here are some examples on social media. Um, I went to put makeup on the other day and I put the lid back on because I'm the healthiest, my skin's the healthiest it's ever been. No more allergies. Take it up a notch, day 12, less puffy, loose pants. Everybody wants loose pants. Oh, I love this one. This poor little guy doesn't realize he's drinking alfalfa sprouts, spinach. <laughs> and, and that's so cool because that's in stoking curiosity there. Um, I used to get sick all the time until I started adding these fruits and vegetables and capsules to my diet. Look at our tower garden seedlings. They're blooming already. We just planted them on Monday. Add value with your posts. I love this one from a friend of mine. You know, she loves wine, but she's giving a healthy alternative to that. So she's inspiring healthy living. And ask questions in your posts. Get other people involved. You know, tell me how, how or what recipes do you have for this vegetable spaghetti we're making? And post fun pictures. Just having fun, doing life. Um, a lot of times we're with other people. We have events and things. Post fun pictures. People want to know what are you doing? What are you part of? And you know, sometimes people aren't even liking or commenting, but they're watching. You know, they might stop you at church on Sunday and say, I've been watching your posts and I'd really love to know what fruits and vegetables are you talking about? I know some of you are smiling because that's already happening with you. So social media is a really interesting thing. You have to be patient, persistent. You've got to be visible. And you know, social media is a chance to start the conversation and then go offline to chat with people individually. This really is a relationship business. So we wanna have relationships with people, have conversations with people, reach out to people. Now, when somebody is curious, because we've shared our story, we've said a one-liner they're curious in, or we've posted something on social media, now it's time to connect them with information. And we've got all kinds of tools to do this. First, we have incredible videos about Juice Plus, and there are so many of them. We've got videos by doctors and people sharing their story and the making of Juice Plus. We've got all kinds of videos. You can easily send a link. You can even have a, a text message ready to go where you're sharing a little bit 
um, of text and a picture and even a link to a video. So always have this ready on your phone to send to people. You can send people right to your juiceplus.com website. You're gonna get your own personalized website as a new representative and you can share this. People can order Juice Plus right on your online store. You can even copy a video link from your own personal website that links the people back to your juiceplus.com site. Another way that we can share information is to invite people to events. And this is really wonderful. We have doctors who speak on behalf of Juice Plus all over the country. And so um, even if they're not speaking locally by you, but you maybe have some friends that live in another state, you can see if there's a doctor speaking close to them and invite them to go and attend. And you should plan your own events, make them fun, you know, build them around the things that you really like to do. But events are a powerful way to connect people with information and with other people as well. And we do virtual events. We do a lot of events on Facebook. We also use a tool like this, Zoom, to do events as well. Another way to connect people with information is to introduce them to a friend of yours. And I love this. We call these three-way calls. And you can say something as simple as, I'd love for you to meet my friend, Julie. She's been sharing Juice Plus for 16 years. I can't wait for you to hear her story. And connect them with somebody else. A lot of times, this is whoever sponsored you in this business. And you can set up three-way calls. After you've really shared and shared information, connected people to that, you always want to follow up with them. So if you've shared a video with them, you want to follow up. In today's world, you could share a video with somebody and follow up in 20 minutes <laughs> because they'll already have probably watched it. So that's so powerful. This was really hard for me at first. The follow-up made me really uncomfortable and I really thought I couldn't do this business because of it. Well, I worked through it and that's what happens in this. You know, I really wanted to be home with my daughter and that's what happened in our lives. We had our first baby that first year on Juice Plus and I really wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. And because I really wanted to build this business from home, it pushed me outside my comfort zone. And this is what, this was one of the places that I had to be pushed out. And uh, you know what I realized was I, when I did that follow-up, I realized that lives change in the follow-up. If you're willing to do uncomfortable things in this business, a lot of people's lives are going to change as a result of it. So I learned to ask some questions when I was following up. You know, what did you like best about the video? What was your favorite part of the event? What about the part where they talked about Juice Plus? What did you think? What, what were your favorite parts of that? And then I say something like, adding Juice Plus was the best decision we ever made. I'd love to help you get started. It's so simple. And we invite them to get started on Juice Plus. And follow up on social media too. You know, watch your likes and your comments and say, oh my goodness, I noticed you liked my post about vegetable spaghetti. Do you make that too? I love all that I'm learning. And um, start a conversation with them. So you're going to reach out and use those comments and likes on social media and be patient and persistent. This is one of my favorite stories. Um, in the black shirt is my friend Sharon Farrar and she is a national marketing director on my team and Sharon and I, our husbands grew up together. That's how Sharon and I got connected. They met in third grade. They've been friends their whole life. Well, Sharon met Stacy one day and um, she didn't know Stacy. She just met her in a, like a cold market type of situation. And they got started talking about, about uh, health and Sharon shared her story with Stacy. And then she started doing the follow up with her. On call number one, she hadn't watched the video. Call number two, hadn't watched the video. Call number three, Sharon left a message. She could have stopped there, but she didn't. On call number four, Stacy said, oh, my husband said, no, I'm sorry. And Sharon said, oh my gosh, I have a video for your husband. <laughs> and so she sent a video just for him to watch, and he did. And on call number five, Stacy said yes to the product and the business, and she became a national marketing director. It's just so wonderful. So be patient with that process and um, continue that follow-up because that truly is an incredible way to build this business. So once we've connected people with information, we've done the follow-up, We and now we have some people saying, yes, I do want to get started on Juice Plus, and we're inspiring to them to make that first one simple change of adding Juice Plus to their diet, and they become a customer. And you know, we can introduce Juice Plus in three different ways. We've got a, a few doors to choose from. You can enter through the door of Juice Plus, or maybe the shake is your favorite thing, and you're talking about the shake in the bars or the tower garden. So three different doors. I normally will tell people, 
you know, we love taking all the fruits and vegetables in capsules and we drink the shake every day and I get them started on both at the same time because I tell them what we do every day. Ultimately, I get them on all the products because we love them all. And that's really neat that we've got three different doors and we have a very simple, focused product line. Once we have our customer, we really want to get to know them. We want to define their expectations. And how do we do that? Well, we use a customer questionnaire and we're going to ask them questions like, why are you making the decision to add Juice Plus? What are your expectations? What is it you'd like to see improving your health? And in asking these questions, we're going to find out about this customer. Maybe they just want to bridge the gap and add Juice Plus right now. That, maybe that's all they want to do. They're very busy in life. This is a great answer for them. Maybe they have a child who's not eating any vegetables, and they just want to add Juice Plus, and that's all. But in talking with them, we can also ask them if they'd like to make one other change in addition to Juice Plus, like drinking more water or adding exercise each week consistently. One simple change. Also, in asking them questions, we might find out, you know what, this person really wants more. This person is ready to dive in and make more changes. And they're asking us, you know, do we have a program where we can really help them almost have a transformation? And we do, and we can connect them with our transformation program. So defining their expectations and settling unrealistic expectations is really important when we start with our new customer. Once we get them started, we want to engage with them. Engaging is a powerful tool in our business. We really want to build a solid relationship with this customer. And we engage with our customers in a lot of different ways. First of all, one-on-one, -on -one, we're building a relationship with them. We can text them a fun picture as they're getting started taking their Juice Plus and getting used to it during their first month. We can send them some beautiful postcards that our company made. JuicePlusPromotions.com is where you can order these postcards and little pill boxes. You can send your customer in the snail mail a gift or something like that, but we really want to engage with them one-on-one. -on -one. But there's something so much more powerful than even our one-on-one -on -one engagement, and that's connecting them with our Juice Plus community so that they can really start to experience the culture of our company. And we do this in a lot of different ways. First of all, we invite them to join our private Facebook group. You know, it's amazing to me that I used to just, before social media, I just used to just take care of my own customers. Now I get to connect my customers every single day with my Juice Plus community. And not only are they going to be encouraged that they're taking Juice Plus because they're going to get better educated about it, but they're going to learn about recipes and health tips. And they're going to hear other people tell their stories about their health and Juice Plus. And it's going to be very encouraging for them to be part of this every day. And maybe they're not on social media, have an email list of your customers and bring what's happening on social media to your customers. Not every post, but some of the posts are going to be really special and you're going to see them and say, I've got to share this with my customers. This was one, one day a mother in our customer group shared her story about what was happening with her daughter's health. And it was so incredible. I knew I wanted all of my customers to read the story. So I brought that story to them on email and that was okay with this mom. She even said in the story, feel free to share my story. Another way that we're gonna engage people with our community is through events. We have local events and you really want to introduce your customers to these events. You also want to invite people who are just learning about Juice Plus, as we said earlier, to these events, but make these events fun. Have a great time, build them around your life. If you're a mom with young children, then do mommy and me things. Um, if you're, you know, a guy and you, you know, you love beer and burgers, you can build it around that. You know, you just, Figure out how you, these events can really enhance your business because they go along with who's in your life. And one simple change is one of the ways that we engage with our customers every month as a whole Juice Plus company and community, we make one simple change in our health every month. That's perfectly aligned with our mission of inspiring healthy living. And this is our 2016 schedule. Heal your heart, go green, active in April. Every month we make a change, 12 changes every single year. And this gives us a reason to get healthier ourselves and with our customers. And this is really fun. We've had a great time doing this together. It gives you a reason to post. It gives your customers a reason to post. And in February, we're doing Heal Your Heart. This gives us a chance to do more education about the cardiovascular research on Juice Plus and help um, tie that in. So education comes with these one simple changes. 
but we as representatives want to post about our one simple change every month and have fun with it. And our hope is that our customers will do the same thing. Ultimately, through that process of engagement and really getting to know our customers, we are going to create a raving fan customer. And raving fan customers emerge just with our engagement, our one-on-one -on -one follow up, our customer care that we're doing. And customer care, we, we should have five-star customer care. That's really what we're striving for as a company. Well, one of the ways that we do this is we ask our customer if they have a few minutes one day just to go over a few things, and I, I usually say, I'd really like to ask you some things. I think it'll be fun to see what might be happening in your health as a result of adding Juice Plus. And we get on the phone and I start asking them these questions, you know, have you noticed a difference in your cravings for fruits and vegetables? Maybe you're not craving some of the foods you used to eat. Um, have you noticed a difference in your hair, skin, nails, your workouts, your sleep? And you know what happens? They start saying, oh my goodness, is that because of Juice Plus? Okay, yes, we are experiencing that. Oh my goodness, my leg doesn't hurt anymore, <laughs> whatever it is. And they start to realize, my husband says, this survey helps people realize that they're a raving fan. This is what a raving fan looks like. Harry loves his shakes. Hope you are well, and she sends me a picture. I just wanted to tell you some other things I'm noticing about Juice Plus. I have so much more energy. My appetite's suppressed. I have more willpower. Thank you for introducing me to this. I mean, it just feels good to see and hear these kinds of things from customers. And that's what happens when we do good customer care. We have to be right there for them and help educate them along the way. You know, when we have a raving fan customer, it's so simple to invite them to join our mission. And the way that we do this is with three simple words, experience, share, join. I usually say, you know, I was having such a wonderful experience with Juice Plus. I naturally started sharing it with people in my life. And I learned more about the mission statement of this wonderful company, which is to inspire healthy living around the world. And I wanted to be part of that. And I'd love to tell you about that too. Sometimes we have a customer who's already telling people about Juice Plus. They'll, they'll text you or call you and say, my aunt wants Juice Plus. Well, right away, oh my goodness, you're doing what I, I, I started doing. And that's telling people about Juice Plus. I'd love to tell you more. You know, sometimes offsetting the cost of people's products is very appealing to them. You know, and we don't have to wait until they're a raving fan customer. We can invite people to join our mission at any time during this model. Sometimes people see value in starting on Juice Plus and joining the mission at the exact same time. Even if we have somebody ordering everything, <laughs> we can say, oh my goodness, you're like me. You, you want to do everything. I'd love to tell you a little bit more about the mission statement of our company and tell you more about our company. Maybe this is something you'd like to be part of. You can offset the cost of your product. You can bring things like that up. So experience share join is just such a natural, easy way to invite people to join us. And you know, when we, when we have somebody say yes to that, and not everybody will, some people are just satisfied to remain a raving fan customer and that's great. And they will, our hope is that they will remain a lifelong customer with us. But if they say yes to joining our mission, how brilliant and simple and wonderful is it that we just take them right back to the top of the mission driven model and we teach them the very same thing that they just experienced. They've already gotten to know our model. They've already gotten to know our culture as a community. And we are so set apart in that culture that um, this really does make sense. And it's simple to build this business if you just follow these steps. And um, right now, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, Jamie Kinsey. Jamie and her husband and her three beautiful children live in Washington, Missouri. And I'm so excited to hear Jamie's story tonight and for all of you to hear her as well. Jamie? Hey, Julie. Thanks for having me. And um, you were talking about that raving fan that a lot of you create as Juice Plus representatives. And honestly, that's how I came in this door was through a coworker of mine who was simply a raving fan. She had phenomenal health. Um, results with the juice plus and she couldn't not share it with me because at 25 years old and this is a picture of me actually um, around that time shortly after I graduated from college um, as an occupational therapist I was working in the nursing home setting and she saw me struggling with asthma and allergies and at 25 I was on eight prescription medications almost daily and um, just thought it was bad genetics because my older two sisters had the same thing and working in that kind of a setting at 25 years old, I saw a lot of elderly patients who 
had whole lists of medicines that they were in and their quality of life was not great. And so I was concerned about myself at 25. How many meds will I be on my lifetime? And, you know, how would that affect me someday when I want to start a family? Because I was very clear that I wanted to have a family. And I was not married when I got introduced to Juice Plus. Um, and, I, and I had a great career. I was making a great paycheck. And so let me go to the product side first. Is my coworker gifted me Juice Plus. And it was at that time um, when she gave me two of her bottles that my sister gave me a phone call and said her nurse friend had also mentioned Juice Plus to her. And so because my coworker did not know who she got Juice Plus from, I called my, my sister's nurse friend and I ordered Juice Plus. But what that nurse said to me was very smart. She said, Jamie, you like helping people. And she said, you know, it's only $50 to share Juice Plus. Doesn't it make sense for you to offset your cost? And she said, and you have a big family, you know, you, if you, you know, went out there and shared it with some of your family and friends, you could, you know, help to make a little bit residual income. And so I said yes to the product at the same time I said yes to the business. And it's because, like I said, I made a great paycheck, especially as a 25 year old coming out of college, but I had hopes and dreams. You know, I knew, and you can go to that next picture, Julie. I knew that someday I wanted to be more of a present mama. My mom was able to stay home with all five of us girls until we were in school, and then she was a teacher. So I, I saw my mom having a lot of time freedom. She was able to be home nights and weekends and holidays and all summer long. And as an occupational therapist, that's not what my life looked at like at all. And I really couldn't figure out, I was trying to figure out a way that I could balance both of those. And, and it, this was the answer. So I held a little hope in the back of my head that this vehicle might be something that I could really do something with. And I got to a bigger event and got the picture of the company that stands behind this product, the amazing people who are the best at the best at what they do. And then the research, you know, that had my back, that could have me go share my story and could have me post, you know, confidently and put this in anybody from somebody with, you know, who was pregnant to somebody who had major diseases because fruits and vegetables help every process in the body. And so um, this is what was able to happen. And you can go to the next picture. I was able to get off all of my asthma and allergy meds and probably the most precious piece of my story. If you had to take my paycheck away from me, I would continue to share Juice Plus because I was able to have all three of those beautiful babies with no medicines in my bloodstream. No meds ever touched those babies. Um, and while they were pregnant, well, while I was pregnant and um, that's, I'm forever grateful for that. And so I slowly built this business as I was pregnant and um, actually got married first and then was getting pregnant with all three of those kiddos. And as my paycheck grew, I was able to go from full-time OT to part-time and then from part-time to PRN, which is as needed. And, and then after I had Ethan number three, that's when I really had a strong desire to build this um, bigger than I ever had, and I and I had well, I was newer to the whole social media scene, Facebook that really wasn't popular when I was in college, and so it was initially a way for me to co connect with family members who my in laws who live in Florida. Um, but then I really got the aha as a busy mom of three small kids that I needed to make myself visible because it was difficult for me to get out every day. My kids weren't in school yet when they were little, and so go ahead to that next slide, Julie. So I really found Facebook to be so valuable for me uh, to stay connected to people from my past and to meet new people and to be able to stay connected with them through this vehicle. It really is, you know, you have your warm market of people you get to talk to, you know, the people you see probably at work or at your church or your family. But from there, everybody else was cold market to me at that point in time. If I did a booth opportunity or um, if I met somebody at the grocery store, now this allows you to have this lukewarm market, this ability to continue to influence and build relationships over a period of time as long as you're consistent. And I think that's super important. So once I grasped that and adopted that and started teaching it to my team, you can go ahead to the next slide, we had exponential growth. So for 24 months, we've really been um, layering this social media, all these techniques, Julie, just so beautifully taught you guys with our team and and I think that there's definitely still the way to go out and to meet people out in public and to talk to your warm market but this vehicle I think just allows for a little bit more speed if you want to so I'm forever grateful for that 
And so my initial goal, right, was to be able to be more of a present mama. And I am able to say yes to field trips and to dropping them off and to picking them up and to play dates. And even today, this isn't, you know, my kids related, but I was able to go be with a family member who is going through a tough time right now. And none of my sisters could be there because they have jobs. And my mom couldn't even be there because she has a job. So I got to be the one who was there because we have this time freedom to say yes and do this business whenever we want. And so go ahead to this last slide, Julie. And so this is, you know, how I made it <laughs> um, known on social media. I met that goal of being more of a stay at home mom. And, and then my next big goal was to be able to build this house. And so that was an initial picture before I even bought the land, but I was really clear in my mind. It's something that I wanted to achieve. And uh, it really is the house that juice plus has built. And, you know, it's just, we're starting to create some really great memories. We had our first Christmas here and the kids are now like coming in and out from the neighborhood. And that's exactly what I wanted just to be able to, you know, keep my family intact and to make a lot of wonderful memories. And so whatever it is that you might want this business to do for you, whether it's, you know, just offsetting the cost of your pro of your product, or it's to be more of a present parent, or it's to, you know, be able to say yes more often and build your dream home and travel more. This vehicle can do all of that for you. So thank you so much, Julie, for having me. Jamie, thank you. What an encouragement. And I, I love what you just said at the end because, you know, people are a blessing in this business, whether they want to do a little bit or they want to do a lot. And if, if you want to take a deeper look at what Jamie and I both have been exposed to with this company, we want to invite you to come to our Juice Plus Global Conference in Phoenix in March of this year. Our Juice Plus company sponsors two conferences every year. And if you want to learn more about the Mission Driven Model and see some tools, visit missiondrivenmodel.info. And we just want to invite you to join us in February. We're going to be back here on every Thursday night, the first four Thursdays of every month. The first two Thursdays are product related. We won't talk about the company or business on those nights, but you can invite people to hear a doctor speak and invite people to learn about One Simple Change. And then the second two Thursdays are business company related. You'll invite people to learn about the Juice Plus company and what we did tonight, how we do our business. And maybe you heard um, some things tonight that you wish a good friend of yours could have heard. You will be able to get a recording of this at inspiringhealthyliving.tv and learn more about those upcoming events as well. Jamie, thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for having me. Good night, everyone. Good night.